This is Bottles. This is Phil. And here we are at the last story. Thank God. <laughs> I'm so happy. Here we go. Who could it be? Why do I want to say Metal Sonic? It's not. I don't remember. This isn't really. Sonic Heroes. Thank the Lord. Hey, look, it's my grandfather. Hi, Grandpa. How you do? It's my grandfather. Gerald. Gerald. I love how the military... Like, you know how he's about to, like, say this message where he's like, I'm going to destroy the world now. Right? Right. How come the military didn't really do anything about that? I mean, they were right there. I mean, right? I, I mean, right? I mean, what the fuck's the military gonna do? Destroy it? Destroy the Eclipse Cannon? So that it can't be used? I don't think missiles can reach that far. They can go to it. Yeah, but like, yeah, they, can, well, like, gotta... they can go to it and then shoot it with guns. <laughs> no. Why? I mean, like, I mean, like remember, uh, space tra remember, space travel. Well, remember, space travel. Remember, space travel is different, though. In this game, apparently, it's pretty easy. I guess. Well, you're talking about like a world. -like the military system. already went there to like shoot up everybody. It reminds me of Call of Duty, like one, I think. Or Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh my God. Wow, we what? See the big doses. <laughs> Yaks <Yachtsklaheim>. Oh <laughs> my God. No one talks about everything else being racist. What? No one talks about everything else being racist. What about what about this? <laughs> what about this? Is that the Metarex saga? Oh God. Uh, did you mean? Did you smell my food? <gasps> no, you talked about the Metarex saga. I, I like that saga. <laughs> Fuck that. Not really. I hated that show. Cosmo Sea Dream? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fucking Robotnik going up, like, wow, when you actually hurt someone, that's where you go too far. <laughs> did he say that? Yes. Damn, what a kid show. <laughs> You're not wrong. Damn it! What a four kid show. I want to know if Eggman actually said that in the in the the sub, like the Japanese version. Oh, probably not. Like it's like when you actually hurt someone, that's where you're going too far. What's going on? Here, have a head that's always screaming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I do a really good Bill Cipher. Yeah, you, 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 you good. Thank you. And give you like one of those like passive compliments. Yeah, and fuck just like passive yeah, aggressive yeah, you compliments. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you go. Stop it right now. Or I'll else. punch you. Look at my oversized knuckles. These fucking spikes will impale your skull. Without any milk. Wait, stays crunchy in milk. I don't. I don't know why. Like, I feel like Sonic did go. Like, I love how Eggman. She's like, hey, you're still alive. What the fuck? <laughs> I like. You know, he just saw him explode. You think he'd be like, fuck. What the fuck? How did you- What? He's like, You're alive still? Fuck. Shit, man. I, I, I feel like Sonic's just like, Not so fast. <laughs> not so fast, doctor. He's just like this, like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Happened? They don't. What went wrong? Was it a mistake to create the ultimate- <laughs> Well, now I'm just upset. <laughs> now when you've hurt somebody, you've gone That through. goes too far! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh good. Backstory. Wah wah wee woah. Wah wah wee woah. <laughs> what have you been watching? <laughs> what are they even up to right now? Did they stop it? Uh no, they just uploaded uh 66. Oh god, what part of what are they on right now? <laughs> are they up to the Oracle season? I, I don't know. I, shit. My guess would be that they're in the um the one with uh Noah. But they've, or they've been on that for the years. Have they? Yeah. Well, then maybe. They gotta be past that by now. I don't know, man. I never got... I, I stopped watching it when they were still in Battle City. Because I just stopped. That's why I'm watching it again. Hey, man. That's not cool. You will feel the wrath of Florence. <laughs> oh, God. No, I just really watched my... Today, I, I actually watched the one like one of my favorite scenes in that fucking show. Oh, wait, well, of like original Yu-Gi-Oh? Like... No, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged. Oh, okay. Yeah, where it's that? like, 
where it's like uh, Yugi's in the burning warehouse, like after he defeated Bandit Keith, and it's like, oh, the door hurt me, Joey. Let me do it. Me, me, me. It's getting so hot. I don't think I can get out of here alone. Me, 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 me. I just wish someone would help. <laughs> That's right. They sped it. That's right. They sped it up. <laughs> it is funny. Uh, that show I forgot then, how funny they, that show and then, was and then they broke through and they're like Yugs we're here and he's like god damn it I remember my defeat just like it was yesterday was <laughs> wait, wait a minute did you just summon more than one monster in a turn yeah so that's against the rules oh, isn't it good. screw the rules I have green hair yeah that's right that they did that that was funny yeah, so yeah, I, I don't remember so I like, I like I like how um Kaiba should have the puzzle what do you mean because remember in Duel's Kingdom he beat Yugi, and whoever beats the Pharaoh can oh, yeah. take his item. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, that'd be kind of cool. I hated that actually. I, I, well, to be fair, when he lost, he turned back into Yugi. So nope, doesn't matter. Technically, nope, does not matter. Also, how did Bakura get his Millennium Ring back after Tristan threw it like a frisbee? I don't know, man. Magic. Go Millennium Frisbee. I don't know, you magic. I'm pretty sure he could come back to its owner. He's yeah. remember, remember, it's just like a boomerang. I mean, like, remember, also, also, he had, like, the dragon dick dude, so probably he could have been, like, the blah, what? Blah, blah. Remember the dragon? Oh, that's no, sure, you didn't get that far. The dragon dick dude? Yeah, remember <laughs> Zabor? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we'll look it up later. What season was that in? Oh, uh, late, it was towards the end. Where Bakora found out, like, you know, Bakora's, like... Oh, you mean, like, like, uh, like, when they were Zork. in Egypt a lot? Oh, Zork? Oh, I know yeah, Zork. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's a thing. Zork and pals. Yeah, that's a thing. That's, that's not... Actually, yeah, not Zaborg. Zaborg is like a, a monarch. Um, this cutscene is. Oh, look at his mouth! Famous. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I wish I could do the John Tron Let, opera thing. Did you just hear that? Then let's get to work. So here we go. I totally can cannons core. So I can totally see uh, Sonic being a JoJo. Could you? Which is upsetting. I'm like, a JoJo. He would be. He would be Joseph, which is upsetting. Here we go. Oh god, I thought you were Sonic. Why aren't you Sonic? Oh, because uh, we gotta go through this whole stage as all the characters. I which guess I cool. love. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Yeah. Do they like tag? Okay. Do they like tag out? Uh, yeah, actually. Mocha! Uh, Stop time. Yeah. Oh, is that Gerald Robotnik talking to us now? No, that's Eggman. He's oh, kind of like Eggman? he's kind of like playing the the commander right now. We're going too far. Come on, man. It's gay. Stop it. I want to go fast! <laughs> stamp it! <laughs> Just stamp! Please! <laughs> you don't understand. No, 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 no. Come on, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you fucking Hey, suck. big! Oh, Jesus. Help me! Help. <laughs> Help. Alright, let's, let's try that again. Kill me! We're going to beat this game in this part, I don't care how long it takes. Oh, god. Because it shouldn't take long, honestly. Actually, it might take two parts. No! Please Whatever. don't do this We'll to just me. finish it today. We'll do this to me. Fine. We'll do it in one mega part. Thank you. You've done that before? You did yeah, that with Jack and Daxter. You're right. Ow. Oh, you're gonna die, dude. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks David. for that. David. Love you. <laughs> I forgot we can't do that. <laughs> Keep it in. No. <laughs> Keep it in. Fuck it. I'm doing it live, actually. Okay. We are kind of doing it live. It's like... Okay. Don't walk forward, please. Okay. said so not to walk backwards. You said not to walk forward. Shut the fuck up. I know what I said. Um, I was there and you did. I was like, kind of alright. Uh, Steve! Steve! Oh my! Steve! I can only take control of people named Steve. How can you take control of Bandit Keith? Because his middle name is Steve. Wait, really? Yeah. It says it here, right on the, the, the Wikipedia page. Huh, what do you know? I thought America was cool. Oh yeah, he was my, he's the best villain. Oh, uh, yeah, he was pretty cool. He was the best villain in Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. Oh, I no, no, I didn't no, really... no, the Oracle season was good. Yeah, I didn't, really, I didn't really care for him. I, I care, I like... Help. I like the um help the henchmen. Help, 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 help. Because the henchmen were cool and they had their own like little quips and whatnot. Like Raphael really cared for his monsters and it was cool. 
I don't know. To be fair, I didn't really watch most of the Yori Jonko season. It was so good. You know, they had the dragons and the knights, and it was like, I think they did a huge fusion, and it was like, yo, that's cool. Um, Alright, here we go. Oh, here we go. Moving on to Eggsman. Oh, that's cool. You get to be, um... You have to be the person, like... Like how he's in a mech, you get to be the next person in a mech. There we go. That's cool. To Eggsman. Uh, yeah, that's pretty alright. I, I can yeah. dig it. Yeah. Can, can you dig it? Can you dig, dig it? it? Yeah! Uh, parried. I parried my shot. No one's ever done that before. It's... He dodged my there, there are some pretty cool archetypes in um, Yu-Gi-Oh that never became actual archetypes. Like what? Um, in the Orcaco season, there was the dude who like had like the mech armor bits and he equipped them to himself, and he was just like, Tuya! It was really cool. It's, and it's when Joey fused with uh, Red Eyes. It had the Red Eyes armor, mm -hmm. which eventually did become a card, actually, or became like a trap card in the actual game. I forgot what it was. Um, Red Eyes did get a bunch of support, like. What did? Red eyes, like the red eyes archetype oh, yeah. actually got like an archetype in support. And they're doing that for Whoa. they did they just did it for Buster Blader. Cool. They're doing it for Blue Eyes actually. Nice. And they're doing it for Dark Magician. Kaiba Man. Kaiba Boy. No, Kaiba Man's actually a card. Yeah. It's I just God like damn Kaiba Man. He said that in the he said that the in uh, the Rich series. Oh yeah. He's like, I'm goddamn Kaiba. Oh, this man. fucking great. Help! Kaiser Seahorse was always a funny card. Dude, you know what game? You want to know what game flopped really hard? What Dungeon Dice Monsters? It was just so it's just like dual monsters. I thought I thought it was really good. Like I loved the concept. How are you gonna beat this thing now? I go up. Oh. Um. What else is there? Uh, there's the, like a Valkyrie archetype that was introduced later on at like a grand tournament scale. Yeah. It was like one of the grand tournaments where um it was weird. Right? Oh! You, had, you had like different like people like Grandpa was in a was a was a character well not a character, he was a character, but like, was a, a duel in that fight. In that like, Solomon? Yeah. In that short arc where he used like ancient dragons where were like like t by themselves they weren't that good, but like Together they formed like a, an almighty dragon that was super cool. That was an archetype. Um, there was things that weren't actual, like they didn't become a thing. Um, I think there was an archetype too that had like a bunch of like, like could have been like, it could have been like a thing, but they just didn't make it a thing. I forgot what it was. Uh, I, I used to play the game. I don't anymore. Yeah, I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, anymore. Good, good. it's too complicated. It's not that it's complicated, it's that, like, there's a bunch of things... Like, the secondary market is just too goddamn expensive. But I should, uh, at the time of this recording, it's gonna go, like, the secondary market's gonna plummet hard. Fuck. Because they're reprinting a bunch of stuff after <sighs> the set's been released. And, the, and Konami's just like, hey, here's a bunch of cards that are getting reprinted. Buy secondary market. Because secondary market's stupid. Because they're cards that are worth so much money and they really shouldn't be. Yeah. For, like, no reason. And it's and it's not like I also play Magic, and it's not like Magic where like things are expensive for no reason. There are cards in Magic that are expensive for good reasons because they're fucking stupid. Like there's a card called Force of Will. It's a counter spell that you can either pay five mana for it, or you can pay one life and banish a random uh, not a random blue card, but a banish a blue card from your hand. And that card's like $120. But now it's going down in price because it got confirmed for, uh, like, they're reprinting it in, like, an Eternal Masters that they're calling it. So, like, they're, they're the cards that, like, aren't... Like, they're so expensive for no reason, and they're just gonna get banned anyway. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, nice, guy. Like, um... Hmm. It's just... You know, I'm so glad the secondary market is gonna get fucking hit. Really hated. Yes! And what else is that? Get me out of here. Um, on to Rugi. Oh god. And there, and there's like there are like rulings that just are dumb. Mm -hmm. Like there's the thing called missing timing, where like a card can have an effect, but if something else is chained in response to it, the other part of the effect just won't work. 
Like, there, right. like there's a fusion called Elemental Hero of the Shining, which says when he's destroyed, you can get two banished Elemental Hero monsters from your banished zone to your hand. Mm -hmm. There's a card called White Swarm uh, Hunter Re Raikou, I think it is, where when he's flipped, you mill the, you destroy a monster, and then you mill the top three cards from your deck. So, Shining attacks to the face down. You flip it, it's Raikou. Raikou destroys Shining, but because the but because of the mill effect, after the destruction, Shining doesn't get the you don't get back the two monsters from Shining's effect. Mm -hmm. And it's like why? Oh, it missed timing. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. It just missed the effect. Sorry, guy. And, was, and that's like one of the things I hate the most because it was never, it's not explained in the rule book. Mm -hmm. It was never like an official rule until like recently. Because because you would think like, why does that, because that doesn't make sense. At, um, if you look at it and you're like, why does this make sense? This doesn't. But they they found, they found people have found out and people have written articles that when a card says when you can or when you may effect activates, it can miss timing. So okay. I guess that's cool. Like, see, cause now, now you're sitting there like, I don't understand, because yeah, cause I didn't understand either for a long time. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And I hate it. Also, for a really, really long time, there's a thing... Come on, man! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. For for a really long time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I think they changed it, like, four years ago. Yes! There was a mechanic called Priority. Yeah. And that was just god-awful. Because, for example, there's a card called Rescue Rep. Rescue Rep, it said, banish this card, special summon two normal monsters from your deck. And you're like, okay, cool, whatever. It was the accelerate, whatever, you know, make things faster, accelerate things faster. And then they had a card called Effect Barrier, which says, during your main phase one, dishes from your hand to your grave, negate an effect on your opponent, negate a monster effect on your opponent's field. Sounds simple, right? Mm -hmm. So when people go activate Rabbit, you're like, Effect Fail. That okay. works, right? Sure. And then people go, no, I have priority than you. So it goes off. It's like, okay. What? You're, you're joking, right? No, that was that was a thing. Camera. Yeah. Okay. That was that was a thing. And it was terrible. Draining the liquid. Because then what was the point? Because your opponent would get free advantage, they know a card in your hand, and then it's just why? Yeah. They finally they finally like changed it after a while. And they just made it that things resolve backwards. Mm -hmm. So like, you go to activate the effect of a like, rabbit, you go Valor. What so now, what what um constitutes priority? No, that, it was I. It was just a thing. Like, no, but like, what makes it? Uh, uh, it was like um, just rescue rabbit had a, a faster ability than dishing a hand trap from your hand. Okay. Because like, there's spell speed one, two, and three. Like, Ouch. there's spell speed one, which are just normal spell cards. There's quick, quick, quick play spell cards that are spell speed two, and then cards like Solemn Warning, which is spell speed three, because it's a counter trap. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think for monster effect, because now there are some monster effects that say this is a quick play effect, so it's spell speed two. But uh, priority was just like, I forgot what, I think it's been, it's been forever because I never really, because uh, I was just like, finally, I'm done with that mechanic mm. of the game, which was stupid as fuck. But it was um it was just that rescue rabbit had more priority than effect failure, and that was that was the ruling. Like that was it. Alright. I believe so. It, like I said, it's been a while because I never really cared about because I don't want to remember that god awful thing. Did I go in the wrong room? Probably. Damn. Um It's a good thing I don't really have to worry about uh air. Yeah. But um Yeah, so how it worked is well now I think it results backwards as it should. Whereas it should have been beforehand, so like, for instance, the example I gave was Rabbit, you're like, Rabbit, and then it's like, no, Valor, so everything was all backwards. Uh-huh. So now Valor goes off first, and then, and then that, and then Rabbit doesn't get its effect. So that's how the game should have been, because that's how card games are supposed to work. Yeah. Well, some games do, some games don't. Here's one game where a player only gets one counter, like, counter step, and that's it. Which is, which is dumb and kind of they have player priority so it's like it's, it's my turn i have the priority because mm -hmm. there's one card that says destroy an opponent's wow. top what do i do oh i don't know it's a sonic game so like there's there was there's one card that says what a like when a card enters the opponent's field check underneath this card's um underneath this card as like, like there's a card and there's a marker mm -hmm. 
and if it's the size of that monster, destroy it. But there's a card that says, when this card enters the field, destroy uh, a, uh, a set spell in your opponent's field. This is in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is another card game. Mm -hmm. And because the player plays that card that destroys a uh, set spell, that set spell's effect doesn't go off. And you die. I know. Because the stage, I hate it. No, it's gonna be here. Do you have to be underwater? Yeah, you have to go there to hit a switch. That's dumb. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so the concept of... Uh, the con okay, cool. So what do those glow sticks do again? Oh, I think I might know what to do. The glow sticks hurt you. The glow sticks? No, the things oh, you Oh, they're for chows. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, I think I know what to do. Okay, good. But, uh... Yeah, so, like, there's player priority and whatnot. In that game. Um, I'm trying to think of other like mechanics and games that are like okay, like I'll deal, nice. with, I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just just fuck you, you, you. It's, bad. it's it's bad now. No, yeah, it's it's garbage. The game is bad. No, yeah, like everyone's just a like, I hate going to locals. You know, everyone's just a cocky fuck. I hate it. Yeah, because the the game is like oh I have, I I can just buy the best cards in the game and I win right. And that was like that for a while. And they actually just did an adjusted ban list. Like this would be posted like months ago. Mm -hmm. Like they, they uh, um, like Konami did make an adjusted ban list because there was a deck that was just really, really good for like no oh. reason. Yeah. I guess what the name of the deck was? What? It's called Pepe. Oh yeah, you were telling me. Yeah, because it takes two PEs from before mages and before pals and just called it Pepe. Because you community can be smart sometimes. Nice. But the but the deck was so ridiculous that co co like. At the recent, like, I think, I think it was at, like, a regional or, like, a YCS, which is, like, the grand, like, grand tournament of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where, guess how much, guess which, guess what was, like, the top, like, out of the top 32, there were, I believe it was, like, yes, 80%, oh god, like, 80% of them I'm really scared. Some, I, you should be. I think it was, like, around 80% were Pepe decks. Mm -hmm. And then like the ten percent, oh, come on, dude. And the ten percent was something else. So that goes to show. Like, those things, it was something. Like, it was an astronomical number. That was like, wow, really? Come so on, you're gonna make to, me do this? Yeah. So it goes to show that, like, oh, this deck is really, really strong, and it's it. and no one wants to play. And no one wants to play that deck. So on to Sonic. Die, can you die here? Oh no, no, they'll just send you back. Yeah, I don't have to go there. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 does something, right? Crazy. Oh, did you write down? Oh, uh, that you wrote something out. No. Okay. I was crossing something out because so, yeah. I'm gonna split this into two parts. Ah. Oh. Well, because I need a part for Bio Lizard because Bio Lizard's really fucking hard. When's Bio Lizard? Uh, after this stage. Oh god. Nope. Here we go. Nice. Sick me. But yeah, that's that, that's my Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge so far and why I just don't like the game anymore. Yeah, it's not even fun anymore because it's just. It's just way too complicated. It's not even complicated, like I get it. And I'm not that smart. Yeah. Fuck you. Clip, Fuck that. Clip Fuck that branch. Around. It makes it seem like there's something down there and there isn't. Oh god, they pull a the Dark Souls on you now, don't they? Oh, uh, you're not gonna throw those at me, buddy. You're gonna die. Nice first. try, guy. Nice. Oh, I can't. I don't think I could touch the water. Touch the water. I'm, gonna... I'm pretty sure you can. There's rings down there. Ah. Uh, so you can. You just gotta like help. Oh, oh I know. Well, all right. I can touch it. It just sets me back. It's actually funny. I did make a bad business investment like a month, like a while ago. All right. Uh, and what? I bought like because they release like support for like the monarch <gasps> archetype. That's like really, really good, and it's like top tier right now. <gasps> just, just so I could be like, yeah, I have like the best Whoa. deck in the game. Just be a dick about it. Like, know what it means? Know what you means. Look so at this. Sad. I think I'm actually nearing the end of the stage. Nice. I think. Sick marmalade. I actually encountered a glitch here once in the battle version. Oh god. Where I fell through the floor forever. No. It was really funny. He wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I was really mad because I was like, I finally beat the stage and he just does that to me. Yeah, you did it. That was quick. Yeah, man. Sonic stage was pretty quick. Alright, so we're going to continue this next time. This is Bottles. This is Phil. Later, guys. Uh.